Well, it is a glorious night for football here in the city of Manchester. A warm welcome to the Etihad. Derek Ray here on the commentary position, joined as always by Lee Dixon. And every reason to believe this is going to be enthralling. And you can feel the atmosphere already, Lee. This should be a very significant occasion. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Both teams will no doubt be looking for a quick start. So important to get focus from the off. Really looking forward to this. Hopefully it won't disappoint. And so the starting 11 for Manchester City. The Brazilian Ederson starts in goal. Alexander Zinchenko starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Raheem Sterling plays with Riyad Mahrez on the flanks. And leading the line is Sergio Aguero. Aguero, David Silva ready. Clearing the lines, and so it will be a corner now. Over it comes, and the half-baked clearance. Top-notch tackle. Just can't seem to get out of their own half, and that's down to the pressure. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. We're thinking 4-3-3. Yeah, one central striker, Derek. The width comes from the wingers who will stay high and wide. A very narrow midfield and a conventional back four. Is it going to be Pulisic? Emerson, wonderful goalkeeping. And he just couldn't keep the ball. Legit read it superbly to take back possession. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Well, it petered out. And it's with McKenney. Giving the ball away. A bit of running room now on the wing. Crossing opportunity. Aguero. Sterling has it. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? The referee has dished out a yellow card here. Well, it's not malicious, it's just clumsy. not the way to remain top of the list to be taking free kicks no oh, his teammates will be looking at him that was a really really poor effort i'm pretty sure he won't be on the next one legit given away walker individual quality coming to the fore with David Silva Fernandinho with it now Zinchenko Sterling and options in the centre in by Sterling
really the ideal clearance. Aguero, good visualisation and execution. Well, it all counts for naught. And a throw-in it's going to be. Straight down the throat of the opposition. In full control of the ball here. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Stones. Alexander Zinchenko. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Mares. Can he do it from miles out? And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Set pieces can be so important. Let's see what City have been working on. And over comes the corner. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. And Yedlin here. He succeeds in clearing it. And Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. Aguero. And a very good challenge. Corner for Manchester City. Well, it has come to nothing. Well, as we can see from the stats, City controlling possession here. But that doesn't lead to goals necessarily. They haven't created enough. Too slow up front, midfield, very average. Well, there is nothing quite like this occasion. Welcome to the UEFA Champions League final. The best two teams in Europe this season preparing to go head-to-head -head for the crowd. This is Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined, as always, on these big occasions by the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. It's Paris Saint-Germain taking on Manchester United. Well, hundreds of millions of people will be tuning into this one. Probably the biggest club game in the world. Pointed end of the tournament. Who's going to come out on top? Well, Derek, we're just about to find out. Very, very exciting. And so it is. PSG have reached the promised land of the UEFA Champions League final. The question now is, Lee... Can they win it? Well, this is where they want to be. They want to be at the big boys' table, eating dinner. They're there. Go and eat. They can't eat. And it's a really good-looking Paris Saint-Germain attack. What will they do next? Here is Juan Bernat. And Neymar! And a PSG corner. 
And here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. Idrissa Gay plays. Firing is in. Tremendous block. Bruno Fernandes. This might be ideal for the counter. Shaw. Fred with it. Bruno Fernandes has it. Poor attempt at a pass, really. When he first hit the headlines as such an artist with the ball at his feet at a young age, Neymar. And now, was that the denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity? And the referee has reached for a red card, the denial of a clear goal-scoring chance. Yeah, it's been an awkward game for the referee today, but he's got that decision absolutely right. A free kick, and the keeper took it cleanly. Pass not finding its target and showing fine vision. He has been deemed to be offside, not by Moxley. Brilliant, brilliant officiating that is. Look at that, spot on. James. Anthony Martial waiting to pounce. This is Neymar. Here's Mbappe. Given away. Bernat Bruno Fernandes has it Bruno Fernandes a chance to whip it in cleared away and nobody there to pick him up in the centre from the keeper well that's what you're paying for defenders defend goalkeepers make saves like that Fred with it. Breaking at pace. Dangerous looking through ball. Can they get in behind them? It must go in. And the goal it is. The opener in this game. Well, keep it tight. That's what both managers would have been saying. But now the opening goal's gone in. Tactics have got to change. Well, here it is. How do you like him? In an open goal, please. No goalkeeper, no defenders. Where were they all? So they're back underway in this game. Manchester United with the advantage. But 
does he now? Asking a lot to score from there. Goalkeeper's ball. Very good reading of the game to win possession back. Manchester United getting higher and higher up the pitch. What can they produce from this position? And the free kick awarded to Manchester United. And fired from the flank into the area. Well, that's clear. Di Maria now. They don't normally need a second invitation to give it a go on the counter. I must say, he's let himself down with really flabby finishing there. Yeah, he wasted opportunity from a short distance. You see the manager's frustration on the touchline. We can get more details on that injury situation from our man pitch side, Jeff Shreves. Jeff? Medical staff just indicated to me that he was actually trodden on in that last challenge. That's why he's treading on it so gingerly. Keep an eye on it. Cheers, Jeff. gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Fred. Greenwood. Will he play it in? Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Sustained pressure, and they have the ball now. Bruno Fernandes going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Any sort of lead is important. They have the lead. What have you made of it so far? It's been a decent half for United. The coach still has some work to do at half-time. Oh, a nice-looking pass. Bruno Fernandes. And it's gone behind for the corner. 